going on guys uh, let's see how we can find the 3d shape of these molecules right here using Vesper theory so we have this BCL2 so I'm I'm going to write that one BCL2 so we have boron right here around this we have two chlorine and each chlorine is going to have six electrons six electrons and if you see boron has only four but this is an uh, exception for octet theory because according to octet theory we have to have eight electrons around an atom but this one only have four but this this is happy with four for boron is a, it's an exception and this is going to be our shape and what what do we call this shape this is a linear right so since this is a straight line it's a linear and from this one we we, we already we also say that if you have two atoms around the central atom it is a linear so that's the conclusion so let's say this is linear so this is the 3d shape of this one right here so let's go to the second one it's also two atoms around the central uh, central atom so it's, it's also going to be linear so let's see how it's going to look like so we are going to have a double bond though with four electrons and a single bundle with uh, six electrons right here and this is a uh, linear and same thing goes to the HCN it's also uh, the central uh, central atom has two atoms around it so it's also going to be a linear C has triple bond N and one single bond hydrogen hydrogen only can have two so we already filled up two right here and this one has six and we had to put two more and this is a linear shape so let's see what happens if we have three atoms around the central atom so BF3 has three atoms around the central atom so let's arrange this like this so it's going to be like this actually because this one pulls these two uh, atoms down so that the shape will be like this and also boron has a uh, Boron can have six, so yeah. Boron doesn't boron doesn't follow the octet rule, so it has six. But fluorine has has to be have has to have eight. Here already two and six around it, right? So here we go. So we have this six around it, and then if you look at the shape, this is a trigonal planar, right? Because it's looked like a triangle and it's it's plane. And that's why we call trigonal planet and it's true for all the all the molecule with central at and three atoms around the central atom so this for this is we call trigonal planar and let's let's look at the CH2 it's also same thing it's also, it's also has three atoms around the central atom so it's also going to be trigonal planar so C double bond O and in this one going to have four more electrons and also we are going to have two hydrogens in the bottom and this one has central atom has eight electrons so this one follows the octet rule and this one called trigonal planar right planar and this one the angle between them is 180 degree because since the straight line we know that uh, this one the angle is 180 degree this one 360 degree, uh, 360 degree divided into three parts so the, each one is going to have 120 degree so that's the difference and let's see what happened to the SO2 it's uh, the central atom has two atoms around it however we have one lone pair electrons so let's see what happened in this situation so we have oxygen this one is going to have three lone pair electrons and this one is going to have two lone pair electrons and the central atom has one lone pair electron and this one if you look at the previous one we don't have any lone pair electron in the central atom right but here we have central a lone pair electron in the central atom so this is going to be different than that so the difference is this lone pair electrons pull this two two atoms down so we are going to have shape like this or like this and like this 
and also this one pulls harder than the atom for example we have three atoms right here the first the previous one we have three atoms right here the top atom pulls this one and make this one 120 degree but for this one when we have lone pair, uh, lone pair electron this one pulls harder and the degree becomes a little bit smaller than this one this one is going to be 116 around 116 degrees and also this shape what is this shape this looks similar to trigonal planar but the part that we are missing is the top part we don't have the top part right we don't have the top atom right here so this thing is called bent so when we have the when we don't have the top part and it's the shape is like this it's called bent and that's how we determine the 3d shape of these molecules i hope you guys like this video see you next time